Good evening guys. Tuesday evening. Uh, haven't been out to test very regularly. I've been working in Manhattan on site. Um, but decided to swing by the canal today on my way home. It's a little late. A little tired. Definitely there's been a uh, sizable CSO event. It's really stinky. And of course there's our Coney Island whitefish right there. Just swimming along. Uh, not sure why the work barge is up here. I uh, got the bucket on, so maybe, maybe they're placing, uh, sorry, zoom out. Maybe they're placing sand or gravel. This is the final area, uh, last layer on top of the armor plate. Uh, we got storm drain there is flowing. Uh, we got some coal tar, small amount of napo coal tar coming out there. Uh, Wind is blowing back up into the canal right now. Um, incredibly brown water. This is very heavy laden uh, CSO event. Doesn't look to be flowing right now. I can't see stuff coming out of, uh, of Butler Street. Uh, Good morning guys, up here at 4th Street Turning Basin. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about bulkhead. Uh, in this area now from 3rd Street Bridge, which is just over here, uh, down to 9th Street, where I was earlier this morning testing, is RT2. That is the section of, uh, the middle section of the Superfund site of the canal that is going to get, uh, remediated or the remediation is going to start this year, very soon. Um, and the first thing that they need to do is harden the shoreline to make it strong enough to be able to dredge out the nasty contaminants. And that means a bulkhead that's kind of like this, right? This kind of steel sheet pile that gets driven down. You can see how it's linked together, right? Uh, right here where I'm testing, this is a join, right? And then that is one piece and that is a join right there and they link together and they get driven down. There's different kinds. Uh, sometimes there's a whole uh, sheet that will go from uh, center to center and the whole thing gets driven down, sometimes as much as 80 feet. Morning guys, up here at Douglas Street and it is absolutely disgusting. Got a Guanas football right there. We got all kinds of weird flotsam very typical of a CSO event. Um, the guys are working away, capping the stuff right there. They'll probably come over here and cap all of this as well. Uh, gravel on top of the aqua block. Uh, work continues. Remediation is almost complete here, getting to the last final stages. Uh, CSO is always the problem. You know, that's what we're looking at right now combined sewer overflow and it is disgusting up here so we'll see what the numbers are I'll try and be quick keep out of the workers way it always makes them uncomfortable when I'm here but you know I just do my thing try and be polite and uh, keep out of the way and keep going let's check out this football right here that is a bloated sewer rack there's a few more in here uh, don't see too many the the mayor's uh, rack is actually doing their job. Here's some other stuff. Gloves. Don't see any condoms right here. Usually condoms. It's nasty. Good morning, guys. Uh, Wednesday morning, April 10th. Uh, high tide, incoming tide. High tide today is at 10 a.m. Uh, it's a 5.3 tide. Right now, it looks like we're at that uh, kind of rack line where all the debris is getting pushed by by the current, uh, by the tide back up into the canal. I can see the work barges, uh, gravel, got a machine there. I'm not sure if it's the bucket machine. Um, RT2, this area of the canal right now between 9th Street Bridge here and 3rd Street Bridge is called RT2. And that is due to start uh, remediation work uh, this year. Uh, this 
this season, the first thing they'll do is go through and redo all the bulkhead. So we'll have bulkhead through the canal that's like that, right? And what's on this side, this side where it's kind of collapsing, will be reinforced so it can be dredged out. It has to be reinforced with that kind of bulkhead in order to make it strong enough to support the banks while the dredging is happening. Unfortunately, these bulkheads do not support life anywhere near like these old historic uh, bulkheads of wood, concrete, mishmash of stuff. They're Good morning, guys. Uh, Douglas Street, Street End. Running a little late this morning, so just doing two spots, Second Street and Douglas Street. Uh, the guys were here yesterday dumping gravel in on top of the aqua block here. That's really nice. I like that. They've gone around all the top of the uh, bulkhead and, and capped that. So now I can actually stand right here all the way out. Um, a lot of coal tar. This napple leak through this bulkhead right here uh, still continues. We got a lot of um, a lot of uh, coal tar just blooming right here. It's definitely down in here. I'll show you the real thick globules. Uh, it's coming through this bulkhead somewhere below the water, seeping across the cap and pooling across the cap. And then when we get our CSO events, which are happening you know, regularly and it's absolutely disgusting and stinky up here right now, when that ebullition kicks in, when that CSO debris solid starts to rot, the bubbles come up and it brings up the coal tar to the surface like this. Uh, it will get worse as the temperatures increase. And Good morning guys. Uh, up at Douglas Street Street End, uh, south wind today. Feels like a temperature change, a bit humid. Uh, up here where the remediation crew has put the gravel on top of the bulkhead. Uh, they've got a new boom out here, some kind of like a silt boom thing. Um, doubled up on the oil zords, which is great to contain the coal tar that's coming through the bulkhead. Uh, you can see out here where there are uh, little blooms out in the middle of the canal. Uh, we will be able to see them pop up occasionally. So that's the, the puddle is spread across the bottom um, on top of the already remediated cap. Uh, there were there was a, a blanket put down. Um, that uh, a reactive blanket to kind of capture that. I saw bits of that floating around uh, recently. Not sure what's going to happen here, but it looks like there's some kind of movement, which is great because we just need this uh, bulkhead repaired, fixed, leak, you know, whatever it is to stop that upland stuff coming through. There's a fresh one just come up um, and we need to get flush and tunnel turned on. Uh, hi guys, uh, down at the uh, First Street storm spill and uh, I made a little mummy chog trap last night. <laughs> out of some soda bottles and I want to show you how many fish are in here all right uh, that is mummy chog look how many there are all right these are all from this season uh, that's crazy how many I got in there um, I don't know how many there are I'll let them go oh, I can't hold this okay here we go this is in the tide spill. There we go, look. There's the mummy chalk. <laughs> look at those guys. Crazy. There's so many. <laughs> this is great. I'll have to do this again. There you go. Go on. It's just a little, just a little uh, soda can 
these fish are like super hardy. That's great. I'll let them all go. Good morning, guys. Uh, up at Douglas Street Street End. Um, the napo is still blooming. Uh, it's blooming all the way across here. You can see it actively blooming there. Um, it is napo that is coming from the upland through this bulkhead. There's been divers that have identified a crack. The EPA has told us that there is a crack below the waterline, above the bottom of the canal, above the cap, and that is where the napo is coming through and oozing down the face of the, the bulkhead and pooling, puddling across the canal. And now it is blooming uh, out in the canal. Uh, sometimes I see it blooming out in the center. Uh, so I'm assuming that this puddle is now quite large. You can see it blooming right there. Uh, water is warming. Um, that will uh, make the, the ebullition happen more and the coal tar hitchhikes on the ebullition, those little bubbles that come up to the surface, the off-gassing of the um, of the CSO solids. A lot of debris up here. That's a dead rat right there. Um, Guanas football. All right, drowned. Where is he? There he is. Drowned sewer rat. Uh, when it when there's a big CSO event and the sewer floods, those guys cannot uh, escape fast enough and get drowned usually bob up after a day or two got some is it patron yep somebody's patron bottle right there uh, i mean everything's in here there's a condom somebody's used condom they flushed oh there's a little baby rat right there that that's a little baby rat um surprised to be seeing stuff in here I wonder what's going on it's not like we've had rain to produce this this is from a while back now it's just really dirty right at the top of the canal no flushing tunnel uh, I'm just tripping on shit right there don't fall in so if you do fall in right there's very few places to get out you know this is all vertical steel bulkhead you'll just scratch your way and turn your fingers bloody trying to claw up this good morning guys Douglas Street Street End water quality is looking pretty pretty ugly we've got uh, the coal tar uh, napo continuing this bulkhead is just an ongoing problem uh, they're doing their best to contain it but it's not really containable um, this uh, this looks bad right here, but um, it's from the denser floating stuff inside the boom, and it's just coming out of the boom. And as it comes out, then it can kind of water tension, surface tension can spread, and it blooms in much uh, larger. But th these, I don't know if you can see. The little dark globules, right? They just start spreading as they come out, those, those little darker blobs, and then they spread and disperse, and, and you can literally see them getting bigger right there as they come out, right? Um, yeah, frustrating. CAG meetings and I, I suggest everybody go and ask and try and get an update for the solution. Uh, there's there's the problem has been identified, but there's no solution proposed as yet.